Hello all, welcome to the Make Your Own Hacker Gadget series at Pentester Academy. Now, when creating this whole series, we mentioned that we would like to make this hacker gadget scriptable, right? And this is where I think Python is one of the very important languages that we would A, have to learn and B, we would like to have support on this device. And if we'd like to do any sort of Wi-Fi injection, sniffing, or even on the wired side, Scapy is probably the best library we'd like to use. Now keep in mind, this is a free course. So if you want the slides, code snippets, etc., please register at pentesteracademy.com slash yd. Okay, so the first step of course is to install Python. Now I'm logged into the router. Let me check if my internet connection is working fine. Seems to be perfectly working. Let's install Python. Okay, let me do a quick OPKG update. This is required after every reboot. There you go. Now let's install Python. Now this should take a bit. Now keep in mind if you try to do this from the web interface, uh, the CGI script might time out and give you an error, right? So installing Python is probably best done from the command line because it's a huge package. It's going to take some amount of time to install. Now, depending on what you want, you could install SQLite in case you want to use a database and a couple of other things. I'm going to go ahead and install Python Crypto as well. It's a very useful package. So you can clearly see Python takes a little bit of time to install. It's a lot of activity on my drive. Let's wait for a bit. By the way, definitely tweet to us. We are security tube on Twitter about how you like this video and others in the series. Give us some feedback. Now I'm going to install Python hyphen crypto. This comes in handy as well. Great. Now we should have our Python interpreter working perfectly fine. There you go. Awesome. Now one of the most important Python libraries I'd like to install is Scapy. So let me go ahead and go to Scapy's website and take the latest version of Scapy. Let's go to temp and download this. Now we are inside scapy directory. Let's use Python to install this. Right now scapy requires a ton of packages depending on uh, what protocols you're really playing with, right? So I'm just using the bare bone ones right now, which you would need for Wi-Fi. So keep that in mind. Now let's create a monitor mode interface so we can play with Scapy and test it. So I'm going to bring WLAN zero down. 
use airmon ng to create a monitor mode interface verify the interface is running with mon0 seems to be okay let me set the channel to channel 11 where we find our totally secure AP and then let's start scapy you may see a lot of messages depending on which libraries are installed or not so don't worry about that for example we don't have uh, you know the GNU plot library PyX bunch of other stuff wouldn't worry about it so let me set the interface for sniffing to mon0 and Packets equals sniff. Let's sniff 10 packets. Let's do a quick summary print. And there you go. If you notice, we see beacon frames and a couple of other control packets, right? Beacon frame is a management packet. And you can clearly see SKP is working perfectly fine. Now I have created a whole series on scripting Wi-Fi tools in Python using Scapy and raw sockets, etc. Uh, most of the videos in this series is available for free. So definitely check this out as a starting point for learning Scapy. I've given the link in the slides as well. Uh, and you know, a couple of these examples also require SQLite because we write data onto file. So you might have to install SQLite. Now I'd like to go ahead and of course run one of my sample script, which basically searches for client probes. So let me download that. How to bring up WLAN zero. See if we still have our connectivity. I'll just pause till I reconnect for a second. My network connectivity is back. So let me fetch the file. Unzip it, looks like unzip is in there. Let's install it. Now, a lot of times while working with OpenWRT, uh, you'd find some utilities which you know you take for granted on a Linux distribution might not be available. The best thing is just to quickly install it. So here's my client probes, which as I mentioned, is part of this free course, which I'm giving out here. And what it does is it monitors the air. And whenever it sees a probe request from a client, it prints out the MAC address of the client and the SSID in the probe request. So let's try this out. Let me bring down WLAN zero again. Let me start a new interface monitor mode let's verify with arrow dump in g okay everything looks fine and now let me run my program on zero give it a ton of packets on zero give it a ton of packets to go through now let me generate some data and if you notice as soon as my computer sends out probe requests we find all of that caught by our scapy program right so you're already seeing the amount of power and flexibility you have right now on this device right we've installed wireless tools like aircrack mdk3 
later on we'll look at karma host apd and all of that as well uh, but for now hey we did that we've installed python which now makes the platform very scriptable and we've installed skippy and we are now running example code of writing your own sniffers and injectors using skippy so we've come a long way and at the very same time one can only marvel at what we've achieved so far and you know what all we can do on this platform so i'm pretty excited hope you guys are enjoying this series as well if you are please do you know write us send out send out a tweet uh, we are security tube on twitter and if you're enjoying all these videos please do recommend pen tester academy to your friends and colleagues we would really appreciate that thank you